Today I want to have a giant comparison of five EIN only PNC business credit cards. Don't go anywhere if you love this kind of conversation. Welcome back folks to another edition of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or a vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to do a giant comparison, a giant comparative analysis of five PNC business credit cards. So we have the PNC Cash Rewards Visa Signature Business. We have the PNC Visa Business, the PNC Points Visa Business, the PNC Travel Rewards Visa Business, and the PNC Business Options Visa Signature. Let's first start with the PNC Cash Rewards Visa Signature Business. So this is actually a great card, and uh, this is a card that uh, makes, if you are looking to uh, earn unlimited cash back, this is just a great card. You can earn a $200 when you open and use a new PNC Cash Rewards Visa Signature Business Credit Card today. So, but to qualify for the offer, you need to make at least $3,000 in qualifying net purchases. And this is kind of cool. And they have an intro APR of 0% for the first nine billing cycles following account opening on purchases. And then you have a variable APR that goes from 1099% to 19.99% based on credit worthiness. What we love about this card is that there is no limits on the amount of cash you can earn. This is really great. No expiration on cash. You can redeem the cash back as a stipend credit or deposit it into a PNC business checking or savings account. So you have flexibility here, folks. Okay. What about the drawbacks? Well, you cannot redeem less than $50 at a time. You cannot deposit cash in a bank account that is not affiliated with with a PNC bank. Okay, they want you to keep the cash with them. <laughs> you cannot redeem the rewards for non-cash purchases such as gift cards, and you must forfeit rewards if you miss a payment by more than sixty days. So be very careful with this card. Okay, and one thing also I also want to say here is that the cash advance cash advances APR twenty one point nine nine percent. The penalty APR 28.99%, okay? And you do have balance transfer fees. So we have either $5 or 3% of the amount of each balance transfer, whichever is greater. And for cash advances, it's either $10 or 4% of the amount of each cash advance, whichever is greater. And with the $75 uh, maximum. And one thing I also want to say is that overall, when you think about this card, the card has uh, business friendly benefits, okay? You have uh, unlimited cash back. The APR can can be improved in our view. We love the fact that there are some. We love the fact that you can do a lot of stuff with this card. Okay, if you are trying to spend at least one thousand dollars a month, you can even uh, get a lot of benefits from this card. Okay, and uh, in terms of features and benefits here, you earn one point five percent cashback on net purchases. You can use the account view to manage employee purchases and to monitor cash flow. You can view you can view your PNC business credit card spending by business category. This is really great, especially during tax time, during tax season. You can manage business risk, okay. And uh, the card also comes with a constellation of travel benefits. So this is just wonderful. I want to talk to you now about the second credit card, the second business credit card, the PNC Visa Business, folks. So here is a card that basically gives you a lot of flexibility. So they have an intro APR of 0% for the first 13 billing cycles following account opening on balance transfers when the balance is transferred within the first 90 days following account opening. Then you have a variable APR that goes from 999% to 99% based on your credit worthiness. There's no annual fee. This is really good. Okay. And the cash advance APR 21.89%. So one thing you need to understand here is that this is the kind of card that you want to have if you want to take care of business as usual. Okay, this is a no frills business credit card and, and uh, you can use it based on your operating spending. And here are, in our view, the best features, the pros. Potentially low APR, so 0% for 13 billion cycles. You, have, uh, you also have uh, the, um, the fact that this is a card that has a lot of, uh, that has uh, great potential in terms of expenses monitoring employee balance tracking okay and here are a few things we don't like 
We do not like the fact that this card has no reward program. There is a no, there is actually a no sign up bonus. Okay. And they do have a foreign transaction fee. So a 3% foreign transaction fee is charged for purchases made abroad when using this PNC card. Okay. So this is not really interesting. And in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the benefits, you're able to keep your personal and business purchases separate. You can choose from a variety of online tools to manage your business credit card activity. We love that. You can consolidate multiple billing dates from your creditors by transferring the balances to your PNC business credit card and scheduling one payment a month. This is really good also. And we love the fact that uh, this card has uh, extended warranty protection, purchase security, overdraft protection if you link your card to a PNC business checking account, and you have uh, online account management tools. And we love the fact that you can use this card to actually uh, manage payment practices you can really set individual spending limits for employee cars, okay? And they also have a, a cool system. It's called the Cash Flow Insights that allows you to analyze your exp your expenditures. And this tool will also automatically assign business categories to your posted business credit card transactions. So this is really great. So overall, we also love the fact that with this card, you can manage business risk. Okay, you can set up your uh, PNC business credit card as overdraft protection for your PNC checking accounts to help ensure that you have funding when needed. Okay, wonderful. The third credit card I want to uh, review into this conversation, we have the PNC Points Visa Business. And this is a card that we love also, and uh, the card has no annual fee. And the APR goes from 1099 to 1999%, okay? And uh, first of all, they have an intro APR for the first nine billing cycles following account opening on balances and per on balance transfers and purchases when the balance is transferred within the first three months following account opening, okay? And uh, the, the card is kind of cool. The, the, the thing you need to remember with this card is that you this is a rewards card and there and here is a rewards card that offers you five points per dollar on purchases in all spending categories we love the fact that there is no limits here there's no restriction here okay there are no limits to the amount of points you can earn and you can combine your personal and business points and this is a plus here you can choose to allow your employees to accumulate points individually or at the company level and uh, there is no annual fee and the card offers a zero percent intro apr for nine billing cycles on purchases and any balance transfers the only thing is that they charge a fee on the balance transfers and right now it's either five dollars or three percent of the amount of each balance transfer whichever is greater and uh but other than that this is a great card and uh, we love the fact that uh, this card actually has uh, you can set individual spending limits for employee cards you can check your current balance and view pending transactions online and here are other pnc points of visa business credit card benefits you have uh, purchase protection you have extended warranty coverage you have overdraft protection if you link your card to a pnc business checking accounts so this is kind of cool and we love we also love the fact that you are able to um, you don't have to keep track of any spending categories this is really good no limits to the amount of points you can earn you can come you can uh, you have rewards options that include merchandise gift cards travel and cash back really cool you have up to allow your employees to enjoy points individually or aggregate rewards at the company level this is really good and so overall here is a great here is a great card okay it's a great card you can check your current balance and view pending transactions online you you do have a set of uh, financial accounting financial reporting rather financial reporting tools that are there are embedded into this card so this is just great and one thing i also want to say before and in this review here is that this is a car that constantly is moving with you is changing and is adapting to your business situation and providing the kind of intel you need to better manage your expenses let me talk to you about the pnc travel rewards visa business okay here's another wonderful card and uh here we are basically talking about an apr that goes from 1099 to 1999 and you, you have double miles on your first $2,500 in eligible net purchases. The car has no annual fee, okay? And uh, there are no foreign transaction fees. So this is basically a business travel rewards credit card. Think about it that way, 
Okay, so you can earn two miles per dollar on the first twenty five hundred dollars in purchases and one mile per dollar on all purchases after that. And uh, so benefits include extended warranty coverage and purchase protection against theft and damage. So here are the, the pros. You have rewards. So the, the travel rewards uh, earns you two miles per dollar. I, always, I just said that. And you have cardholder benefits and you have no annual fee. What about the cons? There is no sign up bonus. Okay, so though the PNC Travel Rewards Visa credit Visa Business Credit Card earns double miles in the for on the first twenty five hundred dollars in purchases, there is no sign up bonus. Okay, so something to really think about. And uh, let me give you an example. And if you were to compare this with other cars, guess what? Other cars may earn five thousand miles when you make five hundred dollars in purchases within the first three months. And you also have minimal bonus rewards, okay? And uh, there's no introductory APR, something that they really need to fix, but that's what it is. So overall, you have a great card that could be improved, that's for sure. And I wanna quickly talk to you about uh, the PNC Travel Rewards Visa Business Credit Card benefits that you need to be aware of. The card has no foreign transaction fee, we love that. It has extended warranty coverage, and it also has purchase security. This is really good. This is really good because you're able to travel uh, with peace of mind and knowing that you are being taken care of. And uh, the card also has a constellation of other tools and modules. You're able to use account view within within uh, PNC to view, um, to manage employee purchases and to monitor cash flow, right? It's all about monitoring cash flow. And, and what What's really good with this uh, module is that you can reconcile the data that you have in your PNC business account, business credit card um, account. You can res you can reconcile that data with uh, your accounting statements, your financial reports. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about, uh, we are actually comparing and contrasting five PNC business credit cards. And I want to talk to you about the fifth one. So we have the PNC Business Options Visa Signature. Here is a great one. and But this card has uh, an annual fee of $500, <laughs> right? And the APR ranges from uh, 1099 to 1699% variable. And uh, this is a, a great business rewards credit card. You can choose among three rewards options. You have cash rebates, PNC points, and travel rewards. So if you apply for the PNC business options with a signature credit card uh, and uh, by a certain date, and you spend, you agree to spend $25,000 in qualifying purchases during the first three billing cycles following account opening, you will earn a 750 statement credit. And this card offers a painful option with a spending limit of up to a quarter of a million or a revolve option with a spending limit of up to fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so you have that you have two options here. So if you if you have a charge option, you can go all the way to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you have to re, you have to pay the full balance every month. But if you want to have a revolve option, then you wanna you will be capped at fifty thousand dollars. Okay, and cardholder benefits include an auto rental collision damage waiver. You have roadside assistance. You have purchase security extended warranty protection, lost luggage reimbursement, emergency card replacement, emergency cash disbursement, travel uh, travel accident insurance, travel and emergency assistance services, and concierge service, okay? So those are really good. And what about, what are the best features in our view when you think about the PNC business options, vis, uh, visa, vis, the PNC business options visa signature? So we have uh, the rewards. We love the rewards, okay? So. If you let's say uh, if you are on the revolve option with cash rewards, you will earn 1.5% cash back. If you are on the paying full option with cash rewards, you will earn 1% back cash back. Okay, with the PNC points program, you will earn five points per dollar on all purchases. If you choose travel rewards, you will earn one mile per dollar on all purchases. Okay, you do have a sign up bonus. If you sign up by a certain uh, date, you can earn uh, a 750 statement credit. There's no introductory APR and no annual fee. So we really love that. And uh, 
in terms of um, you can see on the screen that uh, the the map so the geography that PNC covers so this is actually good for a lot of uh, businesses on the on the East Coast and uh, and 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 I would say also it really depends you don't have to be geographically operating from where key bank is operating from in terms of states coverage but you just need to have a multi-product relationship with them at either at the personal level or at the business level and this could be both also okay and uh one thing i want to say before before ending this uh this review is that we love you want to pay attention to the benefits the auto rental collision damage waiver the roadside dispatch the purchase security extended warranty protection those are important because when they do it when you need them you really want them to be there and uh, pnc does a great job and making those available to you let's have a quick overview of pnc bank P business credit cards and it's important to understand that if you are interested in, in any of those five credit cards, you can ap apply online, provided that you have uh, an account with the bank already. In other words, you need to have a bank, you need to have uh, a checking account or a savings account with the bank to be able to apply online. Okay. You can also apply by phone. So the number is 1 855 762 2365. Monday through Friday, they're available 8 a.m. through uh, 6 p.m. Eastern and Saturday uh, 9 a.m. through 3 p.m. Eastern. You can also apply in person at a branch. And this is our preferred, uh, preferred uh, method on this show so that you have the opportunity to speak to a live person. You want to speak to a human, <laughs> not a robot, not an, an algorithm, okay? And uh, you can also uh, apply offline through a printable application to mail or fax. So PNC is really giving you a lot of options when it comes to applying for their loans, okay? Uh, I mean, not the loans, the business credit cards, not the loan. And you will need to have company tax ID. You will need to have a company annual revenue. They want you to have at least $120,000 a year in uh, gross revenue minimum. You will need to have your social security number, your monthly housing payment, and gross annual income. So this is actually, uh, this application, you can choose to do it with EIN or without EIN. So if you are doing it without EIN, then you're going to have to provide your personal information. But if you are, if you're doing it with EIN, then you want to focus on, you want to focus on the business. Okay. And that, in that case, they're, they're not going to ask you for your, your, your personal information. So you can see on the screen here, we have, uh, I'm going to show you a few, a few snapshots of uh, a typical PNC business credit card application. So you can see the first screenshot. So this applies to the Visa business card, but this is similar to all PNC business credit cards. So here's the first screenshot. The second screenshot. Okay. The third screenshot, you can see here the information that they actually uh, ask you to provide for a business credit card application. A fourth screenshot. I'm just still showing you what it looks like. A fifth screenshot. Screenshot number six. So this is actually the end. Okay. So to learn more about, uh, to learn more about uh, this, you need to contact KeyBank directly so after uh, analyzing those five business credit cards this is about decision time folks we need to decide now so we have a pnc not key bank though pnc <laughs> pnc cash rewards visa signature business versus pnc visa business versus pnc points visa business versus pnc travel rewards visa business versus pnc business options visa signature which one do you have to pick talk to me about it well I'll give you an answer really quick. The answer depends on you. It depends on your business. What is your financial situation right now? I want you to talk to me about that. Those are important. Yeah. What are the desired perks that you're looking for? And do you want special needs in terms of employee expenditure monitoring? Talk to me about those. Because KeyBank has, not KeyBank, sorry, PNC. 
PNC has a, a constellation of modules and features that allow that allow you to monitor employee expenditure. Do you are you looking for a financial reporting and analysis tools that come from your PNC bank credit card, the business credit card or usage? So which is more important to you? You need to pay attention to what's important to you. Overall, based on our analysis, if you are interested in having a lower interest rate business credit card, you want to go with a PNC Visa business. If you want to earn rewards, then you want to go for the PNC Points of Visa business, Travel Rewards Visa business, PNC Travel Rewards Visa business, the Cash Rewards Visa Signature business. Okay, those are really great. Okay. And uh, one thing you also need to pay attention to is that how much do you plan to spend each month on your business credit card? If you want to spend less than $10,000, then you want to think about the PNC Points Visa business, the PNC Travel Rewards Visa business, the PNC Cash Rewards Visa business. Okay, so those are the options. But if you're planning on spending more than $20,000, you definitely want to choose the PNC Business Options Visa Signature. This is where all the, the juice is in terms of rewards, in terms of the perks. And what type of rewards are most appealing to you? If uh, you want to earn PNC points redeemable for merchandise, gift cards, and travel, then go for the PNC points visa business. If you want to earn travel rewards redeemable for flights, hotels, auto rentals, or cruises, go for the PNC travel rewards visa business. If you want to, add, if you want to earn cash rewards, Go for the PNC Cash Rewards Visa Signature Business. All right, folks. After analyzing those five business credit cards from PNC Bank, our, our favorite is the PNC Visa Business. We believe it's uh, more complete. It's, uh, it offers a more diverse... Uh, a more diverse uh, set of benefits. So PNC Visa Business 10 over 10, PNC Business Options Visa Signature 9.5 over 10, PNC Points Visa Business 9.5 over 10, PNC Cash Rewards Visa Signature Business 9 over 10, PNC Travel Rewards Visa Business 9 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I will speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>